Well, hello. It's a, a really pretty day, and this is my. Uh, I'm going to show you my gardening area. Ad hoc, ad hoc as it is, my two mini greenhouses, and everything's getting some nice sun today. There's the assistant, B, our two year old tabby cat, who's crazy. So, this is my introduction, and the audio was very low. It's a very nice day. Uh, this is the Friday before Memorial Day in Washington, and I've got some swamp milkweeds that I'm going to put in some larger containers. Uh, these oh. really, really well from starts. I harvested these seeds from the uh, milkweed plants, milkweed plant that I have, and uh, these have been growing since March. And I really, I, I think all of them, except maybe for one, have uh, come up. Now, uh, I think what I'm doing here is I'm showing you that there's a little bit of root growth at the bottom. Um, the uh, roots have, have reached the bottom of that little interim container that I put it in. And I was really happy with the, with the root growth. All these, plant, uh, all these plants that I'm showing you, there's no fertilizer. There's just some uh, uh, regular potting soil that I'm using here. There's nothing special. No fertilizer or anything. And we're going to do another one, kind of speed it up. Look at all those roots. Lots of roots, man. Milkweeds are really, really hardy. And they're so great. They attract pollinators. They attract butterflies and hummingbirds. So I've got my first uh, set of six here that are repotted. Time for a little watering. I've noticed that maybe the next time that I do this, if you kind of pre-moisten your potting soil, then this is a little neater of a process. 